Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to Bardic Inspiration. My name is Dylan. I am your host, and I am joined by Jason Charles Miller, the talent. Uh, you know, Hi. it's it's been a... Well, to start things off, uh, last week at the end of the episode, uh, we had a poll for a, a character from that is featured in our game, an NPC, to be... Uh, uh, become the next song and uh, everybody quite quite soundly and uh, uh, overwhelmingly voted for Elminster Omar uh, and mm -hmm. Ed Greenwood to join us and we have been in touch with Ed since and he is interested and will join us but is not available yet um, so uh, that will be in an upcoming episode uh, 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 and we will, we will keep you updated we will let you know but no, until we then we can't reveal too much yet well you know we haven't we haven't so we oh. haven't the, the 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 time in question and the things going on at that time in question haven't mm -hmm. been publicly revealed yet so that's a that's a next week thing <laughs> um oh, but gotcha. okay. uh yeah yeah we were going to talk about it next week uh no but yeah no, clear yeah yeah um however um as that means that we do not have a chosen uh champion uh, for today's show, um, yeah, choose one now. Yeah, choose a patron now. Uh, for the next five minutes, which patron should we make a song for? Which obviously leads to choices, but um, we will we will be doing a song for either Mert the moneylender, formerly known as Mert the merciless, uh, one of Dernan's old friends, somebody who has been into the battles of Undermountain and survived, or the latest Blackstaff, Vajra Safar, who holds. One of the most powerful magical stabs in the Forgotten Realms that uh, can do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, uh, we've already written a Strahd song. Yeah, yeah. Somebody asking about a Strahd vote. There already, there's already a good Strahd song. We will happily play that song at some point. But sure. um, there is, there already is one. Um, I have this like mix of sun and clouds outside my window that keeps changing, so my lighting keeps getting darker and lighter and darker and lighter. So I'm just gonna make an adjustment there. So not shrouded in darkness, um, but until that, I know shrouded in darkness is pretty metal. It's what well, it is. My favorite place, uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, last week we did a song for uh, one of our darkest metalist champions. Um, Although it wasn't really, a, we didn't really make a metal song. No, it was more of a Let's lament. Say. Uh, I think I called it the Warden's Lament is what I wrote it down as when I did mm -hmm. the Twitch highlight for it. Um, you know, names pending. But uh, usually we kick things off with uh, uh, with last week's song. I will. Um, I will say about the vote going on right now is that so Chris Lindsay has cosplayed as Mert the Muddy Lender and he is currently my dm and 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 like my homebrew game oh nice so I, i'm all about writing a mert song well mert's well ahead mert has 70 percent of the vote currently so all right so that was just my that was just me trying to influence the vote you know? yeah <laughs> <laughs> just saying of course of course now i'm going to put pressure on myself to write a good mert song but you know well hopefully chat will help and maybe i'll i'll try to get i don't you know i know he's working but maybe i'll try to get him to pop into chat for a second and that would be fun that would be fun the unofficial mert you know what i mean well official slash unofficial huh you know well right. he was he was mert at the stream of many eyes i remember right so i mean that's kind of official yeah that's it anyways and ed was elminster that's that's about as official as it gets, I think. I'm pretty sure Ed Greenwood is Elminster's alternate identity, you know? Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Kind of the way I think Gandalf was Tolkien's uh, alter ego. Yeah. But anyway, all right. I've tarried too long. Let me play this song. Here we go. No worries. Muting. The Warden, the Warden song. <laughs> Across these broken worlds, the 
reflecting back as my life unfolds. I knew my duty, I had my role. I knew my heart's desire, I had it so. Am I just an empty shell? Am I locked into this hell? Oh, oh. is this all I'll ever know? No heart, no choice, no road. All day I'm morning, my world came crashing down. I like that one. That turned out really well. I like uh, it better. I mean, I like it better this week than um, when we wrote it. Sometimes, like, I'm really excited about something as we write it, and then mm -hmm. other times, um, I, like, I'm not sure about it, or I'm like, oh, it's okay, and then you go back and listen to it a week later, and you're like, oh, yeah, this is great. And this was one of those. Actually, yeah. Uh was putting together a, a list of a bunch of our songs uh, uh, this morning and um, uh, grabbing all the links to everything. And so I was listening to a bunch of the songs while I was working and uh, just going back to some of the ones like I hadn't listened to in a while, like Space Hamster Blues and <laughs> um, yeah. and uh, 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 the one for the, the song of doom for Deacon Scale Singer. And uh, I'm like, I like these. <laughs> <laughs> I just I like I hadn't really thought about them much in the last while, so it was really really cool to go back. Um, it looks like uh, Mert overwhelmingly won. Uh, yeah. So without further ado, episode eighteen, Mert the moneylender. Uh, yeah, keep, oh yeah, I was going to ask if you kept the graphic, and so you. Did. No, no, I had it. I had it ready to go. I have the I have the other one too, but it's it's well nobody will ever see it because it's that's not the episode. So. Um, I mean, they might see it one day, and just won't see it today. No, no, I think I'm just, after this, I'm going to delete it and just not show, <laughs> not show anybody. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Your hard-earned, your, your, your hard-earned Photoshopping. <laughs> well, it's actually, it's a bunch of uh, uh, scenes in XSplit, so the Vajra scene will never see the light of day. Um, 
anyways, I'm just kind of, I got this, this, uh, 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 Forgotten Realms wiki open about Mert right now, and he's one of those characters who has lots of history, um, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, son of a Sword Coast trader, was a mercenary when he was young. Became a mercenary general, Mert the Merciless. Became wealthy, and then uh, uh, you know became close friends with Durnan, who was a wanderer when they were young when he was a mercenary and they retired to Waterdeep uh, and uh, yeah but they became bored and so Kelvin Aronson and, I, and for those who don't know who Kelvin Aronson is Kelvin Aronson was the the Blackstaff um, you know the oh, one who was what? yeah Kelvin yeah Kelvin Aronson it was the it was the Blackstaff he, he was married to Layral Silverhand uh, also known as you know, Lay Layral Silverhand Aronson. Not that she goes by that name anymore because Kelvin's dead. But, um, anyways, yeah, Mert became a lord and uh, they did lots of shady stuff. Um, oh, lordy. Yeah. Garwar thinks it should be a body tavern song about drinking and chasing women. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, I'm. Da -da -da -da, bum, bum, ba -da -ba -dum, bum, bum, you know, something <laughs> like just like bouncy and fun. Yeah, let's do it. Me... I'm having yeah, Mert's party days. I'm having trouble seeing the chat, so I'm just playing. This Mert the party lender. God, I can't type today. Tuck it. Like, like totally, totally like minstrel, folky, you know, bard in in bard in the bar kind of thing. I think that works for me. I think. Uh, what does everybody else think? Yeah, I mean, look at all look at all those rhymes. You know, you'd just be you'd be stomping, stomping on the dance floor and holding your pints up and taking swigs and you know. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Let's do it. Um, what does this look like? Oh, right. So it looks like, uh, well, let's get, let's get the first couple lines in and then we'll know what it looks, what it looks like. So I would say, um, yeah, let's get a, let's get an opening line and then, and then we'll really know that'll really show us what it looks like. Somebody says That's once upon a time. A what was that? Somebody says once upon a time comes to mind. Once upon a time there was a da 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 da
Oh, once upon a time there was a man so merciless. Let's talk about how he goes from Mert the Merciless to Mert the Moneylander. Once upon a time there was a man so merciless. He da da da, and then we'll say what he did. He da 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 da, da and then he made quite a mess. You know, uh, he, 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 what, 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 what did he do as Mert the Merciless? Uh, I mean, I didn't read any of those books, so I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you know, comes in. This, this is also um, uh, so. The books that star Mert are all Ed Greenwood books. So, <laughs> in a in a in a couple of weeks, we can Ed. ask him. Yeah. He lent his oh, I like lent all his money to the purseless, purseless. Uh, but I think I want to talk about how he's merciless first. Uh. Yeah, I think that's fun because. You would think that Let's you know he's probably convention. yeah he's he's sitting at the bar talking to Dernan in the yawning portal and every once in a while three strings plays this song and like it gets the crowd all rowdy but um you know you know and Mert is just happy to be sung about <laughs> right exactly <laughs> he's just like, enjoying well, yeah. it mm -hmm. yeah once upon a time there was a man so merciless man so merciless. The, oh, perilous, uh, heartlessness, fearlessness, forcefulness. You know what I mean? Once upon a time, there was a man so merciless. He, um, something, something most perilous. He, he, tell us what, Mer tell us what he did when he was Mert the Merciless, chat. This is why you're here. You're not here to catch the code. Or grab the code. <laughs> I turn that into something else. Get the code. I guess you could catch the code. Catch, it. catch that code. Hit your wagon, raise a flag, and let's tell a body tale of a merciless man, a dangerous man, a man who'll drink your ale. <laughs> I like. Hit your wagon, raise your flag, and tell. Hit your wagon. <laughs> Hit your wagon, raise your flag, and tell a body tale. A man, a man, a man, a merciless man, a dangerous man, a drink all your ass. Like, hey, I mean, it kind of fits, but I think we have too many syllables there now, Darwa. Um. <laughs> What's that? Uh, it's just kind of looking at the chat. I think we're all on the same page, which is good. We are. We definitely are. What's up, Tyler boys? Somebody was saying that that sounds very, very chorus. Which the hitch, hitch your wagon, raise a flag, and tell a body tale. It does kind of sound like a chorus, doesn't it? <laughs> That could be the chorus. There's something close to it. Get your wagon, raise your flag. Get your wagon, raise your flag, and tell a body tale. If you dance a merciless, he will drink all your hair. Da 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 Okay, yeah, let, let's make the chorus his transformation in a way. So hit your wagon, raise a flag, and tell a body tale. Not a man so merciless, he would drink up all your ale. But then one day, he, 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 he his, you know, he grew a heart, da, 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 and then he became Mert the Moneylender. Like, like that's the, the, the apex of the chorus will be that now he gives people money, basically. Mm -hmm. What up, Obo Lauren? Obo Lauren. Hi, Lauren. I liked your video the other day that you posted of playing the, the Duck Duck, I think it's called. 
Probably. The what? I, she wasn't playing an oboe. She was playing a um, almost medieval type instrument. Where it's called the duck duck. She's gonna correct me now, but I was right. Oh, the duck duck. The doo duck. I, I'm calling it the duck duck. I'm just kidding. No, it's the duck duck. Spell that phonetically. <laughs> <laughs> The doo duck, duck, duck. Do like dooby dooby doo. Do doo duck. The doo duck. The doo duck. All right. Well, that was close. The duck duck. The doo. The doo duck. Doo duke. Doo duke. Doo duke. It's an Armenian instrument. So I'm it just looking cool. it up. It was really cool. Huh. Neat. So this that he would drink up all your ale. But then one day, I mean, let, let's make it as like you know. We, it's funny because one day he changed, changed his ways. And but then one day he changed his ways, and Merce and. Then one day he changed his ways, and we could say something like, "But then one day he changed his ways and opened up his purse." Uh, <laughs> now he's, now he's, now he's Mert the money lender. Um. Lines of purse. Are we on the same page? Because you're typing a lot, but I don't see anything. Yeah, I haven't put anything in our in our document. Um, He's the money lender, Mert. <laughs> oh, God, what chance? And we probably should change the first line since we say about, say, Merciless, but... Hit your wagon, raise your flag, and tell a body tale About a man who must enlist that he would drink a boy around And then one day he changed his ways and opened up his purse I can think of many ways it could be worse Now he's the money lender, Mer <laughs> I like it Yeah, uh, sorry, was that a, did you, were you singing about a man so merciless or of a man so merciless? Uh, I, I was saying about or bout Ah, okay. Put the coal. 
Human Rejection says it's good. So. A boot. We're in. <laughs> I mean, I'm Canadian, no, but no I'm not that boot. Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Does your head bobble? Do you like how South Park uh, portrays Canadians? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's amusing. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know. I think, yeah. a, I think a lot of... Uh, what uh, uh, Americans consider to be Canadian stereo- stereotypes are indicative of very, very East Coast Canadians, which is to say very, very, very small number of Canadians. Like, right. I know people who say a boot and who, you know, uh, uh, who sound like that cliche, but they're from, you know, the, the, the very, very East Coast. Like you're talking Newfoundland, Labrador, Cape Breton Island. Um, yeah, and, kind of and just as many people on the yeah. east coast of of America talk like that too, like in Maine and oh yeah, yeah. Like so I just meant that like they for some reason they decided that all on that show they decided that all Canadians like have uh, they don't have pupils and their their heads bob up and down like that's how they feel. Yeah, that seems to be the uh, the the common type of stereotype for. Uh, uh, how, how how Americans see Canada, uh, as opposed to basically identically to America, almost except for uh, healthcare and a couple other things. <laughs> right, basically Canada is better. <laughs> you know, the the road signs are the same. Like you cross the border, it it could just be more America, <laughs> or you go south and it could be more Canada. Like it's just it, they're so similar, it's insane. Yeah. Um, are we still going to start with Once Upon a Time There Was a Man So Merciless? Not anymore because we yeah. say about a man so merciless in the chorus. Garahar took us there and yeah. better. It was better. What about Once Upon a Time? That's fine. There's always Once Upon a Time there was something. I'm looking at it. Minnesota and Canada. Minnesota, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> uh. Pretty much. Became a lord. I'm looking at dances with owls. Uh, became a lord of water deep and lent his money out. A treasure hoard within his keep and bought barrels of stout. Some of that's pretty good. We should grab that. Oh, there it is. Became a lord. Yeah, I missed that line. <laughs> see i mean he was a rogue back in the day right uh i believe so if your name's the merciless you're usually a fighter or a rogue yeah or some mix since it seems like a lot of the the book protagonists tend to be (laughs) multi-classes money lander mert okay Uh, let's see. Harper, a masked lord. Loves tavern brawls. Uh, let's see. Good point, bunny boogers. Bunny boogers? <laughs> that's that's their name. Bunny boogers said technically Canada is more America because of North America. Yeah, but then you know Mexico is more of America too, right? Probably. I mean, 
a significant chunk of America was Mexico, so that make that tracks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I live in L.A., so I'm basically I'm this was I'm in Mexico. This was Mexico. Yep. People won't realize that. Uh, let's see. Uh, bah, 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 bah. We're on a ship called the Morning Bird. Hmm. So it could be once upon a time. Uh, yeah. Upon the Morning Bird. He something. stormed the north. He sailed forth and acted like a jerk. Okay, I'm digging this catch twenty three. I'm going to copy this. Oops. <laughs> That's really good. Once upon a time, there was a man who wore a smirk. He stormed the north. He said, "He stormed the north." He sailed forth and acted like a jerk. From the north, he sailed on forth and acted like a jerk. It'd be good to get one more syllable on that sail. He stormed. He stormed the north. Stormed the north. From the north. At, oh. What if we said, as he sailed forth, he stormed the north and acted like a jerk? Because I want to do da 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 da. As he stormed. As he sailed forth, he stormed the north and acted like a jerk. He grew tired of his battles and the bloodstains on his shirt. He stopped chasing savages and started chasing skirt. I don't know what savages, but oh, Sally! Someone saying Sally forth. Is that is that what you meant? That to makes say? more sense. Sally forth. And we can go back to the original. He stormed the north. He sallied forth and acted like a jerk. Does sallied also mean sail? Sailed? I should know this. No, no. It's um, it's like marching. As he stormed the north, he sallied forth and acted like a jerk. That's, that's good. But it's funny. <laughs> I mean, it's all about, this one's all about being funny. He grew tired of the, uh, he grew tired of his battles and the bloodstains on his shirt. He stopped chasing savages and started chasing skirt. Once upon a time, there was a man who wore a smirk. Oh, we don't actually, we can just say he stormed the north. He stormed the north, he stormed the north, he sounded forth and acted like a jerk. He grew tired of it. The third line is the one I have trouble with rhythmically. He tired of his battles. Then, what if we said one instead of he tired again? Uh, uh, tired of his battles and the blood stains on his shirt. Tired of his battles and the blood stains on his shirt. Ah. Uh, Stop. I want to do stopped and started. That's a really good song yeah. for, for stops. I don't like chasing savages or uh, fighting savages yeah, or whatever exactly. it was. Uh, you can say monsters. But yeah. More 
clear. Um, yeah, uh, savages is just one of those words you just not use anymore, period. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, let's see. He stopped chasing money and started chasing Ooh, skirts. Ne'er do well. I like ne'er do well. <laughs> That's always been a good phrase. Yeah. He's a ne'er do well. Well, but I mean, it's not that he stops chasing money because, or did he? Well, he grew, he grew he grew tired of chasing money, but he grew bored after that. I like hooligans. Well, he never stopped chasing adventure. Like he like took a brief respite from it because he retired to modern Waterdeep and then immediately became, you know, <laughs> embroiled in all the politics and and right. uh, uh, shady stuff that he's just a big fan of doing. Right. See, money, on his yeah, shirt. Money, money lend, when you're a money lender, money means even more to you. Tired of his battles and his sword for higher work. Higher work. Decide to retire and. Oh, Obaloran killed it. He turned his chase for power to the kind you wield in town, and now his name is known and feared to everyone around. I, that's going somewhere for sure. Oh, that's good. That's better. I'm going to replace these ones here. Lauren is dead. And one time Lauren told me she's not a songwriter. She just wrote a song. Boom. Looking for a <laughs> mic drop. <laughs> but here's the only thing about that line that that I wanna I wanna I want there still to be a line about him sort of changing his mind so we can do that but I don't know if that goes right there right so put that at the bottom to be used or there is fine um, I, I, I want to show how he changed Yes, cash line for later use. That happens all the time. Lauren is good. Once upon a time, it wasn't an old stuff. Storm me in, sound like what's natural, but mature. Tired of the battles and his sword for higher work. He decided to retire. What else can we say besides that? Going to rhyme zone for inspiration. Yep. Rhyme zone, what you doing for me today? Bum, 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 bum. He 
you could we could say something about putting down his dirk, you know? <laughs> you <probably laughs> have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, you don't really hear that reference for a, a knife anymore, but uh it's very much I had a friend uh back home who uh sort of reinvented himself and he decided that his name was Dirk. All right. And, yeah, and then everyone just called him Dirk after that. And it worked. Huh. Oh, bunny clay? No. No. Well, we can't do work with work. I know, I was just like, hold on, why am I? <laughs> uh, let's see. Hmm. Clerk, work, Turk. Arahar wants to know when how we can work hashtag blessed in there. Don't don't make me kick you, Garwar. <laughs> no, he, he doesn't actually. I'm putting words in his mouth. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know, I I almost the other day when I was uh, prepping stuff for the stream, I almost went into our night bot and just added hashtag blessed to one of the things that would automatically That's boot people out. Like, if you said it, it would just automatically mute you. <laughs> I don't know. He just got a warrant. It, something got deleted. Yeah, because he, he can't type in all caps, man. You know this. <laughs> There's a hashtag blessed icon. D &D Beyond. Oh, man. Oh, no, Lauren. Don't bring that in here. Uh, let's see. Whoa. I didn't know. How does that even exist? Uh, if you have the if you have the emotes uh, from other channels, you can use them in this one. I know, you know who that's has that? that's why my crit ro crit roll flame always works in here. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is the only one I know because I know that crit I'm sure critical roll has like ten thousand icons or something, but the only one I ever use is the fire one. <laughs> uh. I've got a lighter. See. That's from mine. That Obo Lauren just put out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that one. The hype one. Mm -hmm. Well, no, the light, but the next, the one next to the hype one is a guy just holding a lighter. Yeah, it's actually my hand holding a lighter up. Yeah, that's super cool. Here we go, all the lighters. As uh, the guy from Stained would say, I'm feeling those lighters. Tired of the battles and his work is sword for hire. He left for water deep and he decided to retire. Uh, yeah, tired of the battles and his work is sword for hire. He left for water deep and then recited to, and then decided to retire. Yeah. And then this, this, uh, this line that's Lauren's actually fits really well after that now. Once upon a time, I was a man who always smirked. He stormed the north, he sallied forth and acted like a jerk. Tired of the battles and his work is sword for hire. He left for water deep and then decided to retire. He turned his chase, he turned his chase for power to the kind you wield in town. And now, that, and now his time you wield in town. And now his name is known and feared to everyone around. Da -da -da. Yeah, yeah, that goes right there, actually. Perfecto, perfecto. Well, no, keep keep it a space though, because I will, my brain will. Okay. Will go crazy. Um. <laughs> Minor, F sharp minor. To remind myself of the chords.
Guess who's calling me right now? D. Dave Walters. <laughs> oh yeah. By the time I'm streaming now. So it's the three minutes that he's not also in a stream since he seems I know, to constantly. I he didn't realize that I was in a stream. <laughs> They call him the moneylender, Mert. I like the way this one's coming together. This is a fun one. If we ever have a D and D live again, and we happen to actually be in a pub again, this this has to be played on stage with Chris Lindsay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I already texted him and told him and he was like, cool. And I was like, pop in. I'm like, wait, I know you're working. He just gave me an LOL. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> oh, that's I just told B-Dave to pop in with D-Lo. Listen to it later, or or maybe he'll pop in at the very end. When we're doing it. We'll tag him with it when we post it. Definitely. He turned his chase for power to the kind you wield in town, and now his and now his name is known and feared to everyone around. If you. I think we decided. I think we got rid of the. I think we got rid of the whim, the chasing women line. Yeah, we did. Yeah, because someone was asking what kind of women does he chase. Well, yeah. Just... Very good. I mean, yes, it's about ye olden times, but it is also not ye olden times right now. So there's no need to uh, to go to. Uh... We can we can relive plenty of his bad habits without without. Uh... Without going over his casual misogyny, yeah. Yeah, I was I was going to say without being misogynistic at the same time, but I, yeah, pause. Yeah, yes. that's one of those things. Like I would call myself a fan of James Bond films. Like I I grew up with them. I loved them. I always liked how. Uh, uh, what's the channel that plays like nothing but James Bond from December first right up until Christmas? Um, I forget. I haven't had a TV channel forever, but there was one when I was growing up, and I love it. But like, I go back and watch old episodes. Did HBO, did HBO do that? Um, I think HBO has since licensed the whole catalog and has it on their streaming services. Um, but anyways, I feel like I, the first time I ever watched a James Bond movie was on HBO. But anyway, maybe. So. But what I find now is that I have a really hard time watching almost any of them because, like the world has changed a lot since they came out and there's a lot of cringeworthy sexism in those movies like just tons um yeah yeah anyways no i mean i get it some people in chat are saying half that's half of his character writing about uh a misogynist doesn't make us misogynistic yeah, yeah. But we don't necessarily but we don't have to write about that right now so let's not yeah and there's also the part like we could put a line about chasing women in there, um, but you know it's just it's let's be uh, tactful 
with how we introduce something like that if we do it. Uh, right. And I think it's better. I honestly, I think there's a better way to say it than chasing skirts. No offense, it fit in the rhyme, and it was nice as the song, you know, to fit in the rhyme. But it's that that phrase itself is not is is mm -hmm. uh, questionable. You know, is kind is uh, not a great anyway. Yeah, like the dude met his future wife, whom he rescued as a baby from a city that was sacked. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. Shit, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't have to sing about that part either. Yeah. The time I was in my What's that? I just I, there's so much more interesting stuff like his relationship with Dernan and the original Kelvin Blackstaff and um, you know, his membership in the Thieves Guild. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, we'll go that way. You know, um, hey, he's a Harper, somebody mentioned. Yeah, he's also a Harper. Maybe a Harper line could go right here, right after he turned his chase for power to the kind you wield in town. Now his name is known and feared by everyone, everyone around. Da 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 harp, you know. Um, let's say something about the Harpers right here. I'm trying to find. How oh, interesting. Under Mountain is good. Now, did he make his fortune in Under Mountain as an adventurer or later? So he he made his first fortune as a mercenary to the point where he got bored of trying to get make money. And then he retired to Waterdeep and then like got considerably more wealthy as he eventually became a lord and well a masked lord among other things and then eventually he started making excursions into Undermountain where of course he made even more money. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What's up B Dave? Hey. We're writing a song about Mert today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the opening lines can be seen on the screen here in the top left, uh, depending on your resolution. I suppose I can make the font bigger. Yeah. Plunk. Well, is that is that good for you or bad for you? It's good. It just hold on. I need to make sure. It bumped yeah. that. It bumped that part. Yeah. Yeah. A little chord notes in that one too. Once upon a time there was a man who wore a smirk He stormed the north and sallied forth and acted like a jerk Tired of the battles and his work is sword for hire He left the water deep and then decided to retire He turned his chase for power to the kind you wield in town and now, and now his name is known and feared by everyone around We need another line right here, another line right here da -da 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 Hitch your wagon, raise a flag, and tell a mighty tale. By the months and merciless, then he would drink a all your ale. But then one day he changed his ways and opened up his purse. I can think of many ways it could be worse. Now he's the moneylander bird. Thank you, Andy. Oh, that also messed it up. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So we need something right here. What do we got, everybody? 
What do you got? I wonder, um, what about putting, because it feels like the six lines is a bit long for that opening. What about putting he's the money lender Mert in between every break? Hmm. Let's see if I can get there. Uh -huh. Um, I don't know. It feels a little forced. Does it? Yeah, it feels like it's okay. not kind of flow as, as well. No worries. It's just kind of like. Mm. Died of the battles and his work is all, and his work is all for high. Left the water deep and then decided to retire. He's the money. I mean, I, I could do it like really. The bit, the way it would work, I guess, would be um, if I went right into it. So it's like. He, he left for water deep and then decided to retire. He's the money lander. That 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 could work. It's just like an extra measure. Once upon a time there was a man who was smart. He stormed the north and tally forth and acted like a jerk. But here's the thing: we would always it won't work. Uh, like the rhyming why I guess it's just gonna sit by itself. So it's like. Tired of the battles and his work was sword for high. Left the water deep and then decided to retire. He's the money lender. Mer we'll try it. Let's let's we'll keep it in there. Let me put my little notes there to myself. Decided to retire. He's the money lender. Mer I, I I can see that working. Okay, so then we're right in there. Is that me? That oh, is you. Stop! What are you doing? I hit the weirdest button. <laughs> but it was like the beginning of some cool song. I don't know what that was. Um, on those on the newer Mac laptops, there's like the Siri button, hmm. and I accidentally hit it all the time, and that's what just happened. I don't know why it played a song, but dun, 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 dun. hmm. He turned his chase for power for the kind you wield in town. Hmm. He went and joined the Harpers. Did he join the Harpers or did he form the Harpers? Uh, he is a Harper, but that's all. I, I don't really know much about it. So let's say he went and joined the Harpers, and then if someone will tell us that he formed them later, we can change it. Change it. Um, he went and joined the Harpers, and he... He went and joined the Harpers. Then he opened up a bank. Money selling. Lending. Lending fortune. Near and far to those whose money sank. <laughs> Those whose fortune lending, um, hold on. Mind if I write this down just to? No, go for it. I'm I'm just thinking through it.
Åh. Oh. Mm. Uh. When and joined the Harpers and he opened up a bank, landing treasure near and far to those whose fortunes sank. To those whose fortunes sank. Um, I mean, that strikes me as hard to sing, but it's your voice. You tell me. <laughs> Went and joined the Harpers and he opened up a bank, lending treasure near and far to those whose fortunes sank. All right, yeah, yeah. He's the money I mean, lender. What? Yeah. <laughs> He's the money lender. Mer Maybe we don't need to do that one right there because then we can go right into the chorus. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, Turn the chase for power to the time you wield in town. Now his name is known and feared by everyone around. He went and joined the Harpers and he opened up a bank. Lending treasure near and far to those whose fortune sank. Hit your leg and raise a flag and wait. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think that works. Yeah, so it does. You come on, Elander, Nice. Uh, let's try that much. All right. Yep. Quiet, quieting. Let me get, wait, wait, not yet, yet. I'm gonna give myself some notes really quick. Oh, okay. Not quieting. Unquietening. Yeah. Vamp. <laughs> vamp. <laughs> <laughs> quick. Vamp. Oh man. Let me uh, mm. wet my whistle like in the bard's tale. All righty. Muting. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a man who wore a smirk. He stormed the north, he sallied forth and acted like a jerk. Tired of the battles and his work is sword for hire. He left for water deep and then decided to retire. He's the money lander. To the time you wield in town and Now his name is known and feared by everyone around He went and joined the Harpers And he opened up a bank Lending treasure near and far To those whose fortune sank Hit your rag and raise a flag And tell a body tale But a man who must solicit That he could drink up all your ale But then one day he changed his ways And opened up his purse I can think of any ways that could be worse Now he's the money lender Merch We got so far all glorious 55 seconds of it but, so, <laughs> but, but we're but i'll slow it down a little bit and also we'll uh this is just one of those many lyric songs that happen sometimes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody put in a, somebody was working on a line, catch 23. Um, the old the old were, they went to under mountain and came out with lots of gold. I mean, yeah. Except yeah. for the old worth, the, I wouldn't say old and old in the same line, but uh, let's throw that in there and let's see where we go. It may be human rejection. <laughs> it may be a seven verse song. Hopefully. You could put Lord Walrus because <laughs> he goes by that sometimes. I guess the sun's come out because like the lighting in here so unfortunately the walls around me are yellow uh which really messes with lighting <laughs> and uh it's suddenly what does it do 
Uh, well, it just bounces yellow light around, which, uh, you know, does a lot of messing with my skin pigment on camera. It makes me look yellow instead of brown. Uh, <laughs> and then the sun is out, so it's, it's getting worse. Um, whereas the LED lights I have here are not. They're a different frequency. Or a different temperature, actually, I should say, for lighting. But anyways, Lord Walrus and the Wanderer were tired and growing old. We're tired of... Oh. Mm -hmm. So they went to Under Mountain and came out with lots of gold. Lord Walrus and the Wanderer were tired of growing old. So they went to Under Mountain and came out with lots of gold. Right? Yep. That is so... The next two lines could be about how, because what uh, Merck did was he used that money to make his mansion. Um, I think. I think that's what he ended up doing. Did he build this mansion before or after he started going to Waterdeep or into Under Mountain? Because I thought, like, the money, when they came out, what Dernan did with the money was he made the Yawning Portal. Who did? That was that was when he made the Yawning Portal, when Dernan and um, Mert went into Undermountain. And they came out some crazy amount of time later, super rich, and also kind of ageless, like a lot of time went by. Um, right. Dernan built the Yawning Portal over top of the entrance into Undermountain. Um and Mert. I think that's when he built his mansion. That would make sense. It was after Undermountain? Yeah, okay. Perfect. That's cool. Both. <laughs> emerged they both have work to do they built the yawning portal and another mansion too yeah um love the fourth line let's fine-tune that third one when they both emerged, it just just it's simple. when they both emerged they had a lot of work to do they built the, the yawning portal and another mansion too Honestly, I don't think we need to do he's the money lender Mert here. I think we just keep going. Yeah. Yep. Four more lines. Yep. I'm still not convinced necessarily about the one at the beginning, but Lord Walrus and the Wanderer? Yeah. No, no, no. Just about doing that. He's the money lender Mert. Like at the Oh, end. that, yeah. Like maybe that's too too big a of a reveal too quickly. Um, but I mean, we'll leave it in for now and just kind of see. Well, this is where they be. This is kind of where they become more. Uh, well known, renowned. So this is sort of where their reputation gets bigger and bigger, right? Yeah. Like that. Oh, what 
else we got? Mm. Uh, Garahar has a good one. A reference to getting in trouble with Elminster. Well, that's not somebody you want to be in trouble with. <laughs> oh, definitely not. Uh, let's see. Hmm. It's kind of like... Well. Oh, 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 oh. They're not in trouble with... I see what he's saying. He's saying that he also adventured with... Oh, with Elminster? Yeah, they're, they're, they're friends. They've crossed paths many times. Sounds like a different song. <laughs> Same chords. We need four more lines, people. Mm -hmm. Do this. Bum, 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 um, I mean, this could be more of like a, you know, known throughout the realm as da 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 da, like this, this other line could then lead into the second chorus, which could lead, lead to the third chorus. Kind of what you're thinking. He's known throughout the realms as. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, he hung around with Blackstaff and the Sage of Shadowdale. Uh -huh. I like that as a first one. He hung around with Blackstaff and the Sage of Shadowdale. Da 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 Traveled with the black stuff and the sage of Saddle Hill. That flows better. The men looked up with faces pale. Apparently, he was trapped within a magical hand axe at one point. That's. And escaped into Suzale. Oh, wait, hold on. I can wait, make that. Huh? Yeah. That rhymes with Shadowdale. Yeah. <laughs> the 
just sounds funny. Got trapped within a magic act. <laughs> and escaped into Suzale. Suzale's in Cormier. We need one more. Hold on. We need one less. Got trapped within an axe and then escaped into Suzale. That could work. I, I'm. We need one. We need one less syllable at the beginning. Oh, I see. Yeah, because trapped within a magic axe and escaped into Suzale is too long. Too many. Hand axe. Got trapped within a hand axe and escaped into Suzale. I mean, if you know the... Hold on. Got trapped inside a magic axe. I mean, we could say got trapped within a magic axe, escaped into Suzale. Uh, or, and then, or, got trapped. What is there? Is there a one syllable word for escaped am i being stupid right now by even saying that aloud i don't know because when you're thinking it through like that it's just your brain's in a different place uh, and fled into suzale Trapped within a magic axe, then fled into Suzale. I mean, it works. Or we could say broke out into Suzale. Got trapped within a magic axe, broke out into Suzale. If you know the story. Trapped within the magic axe, broke out into Suzale. You don't like broke out? Eh. Okay. Sounds, it doesn't sound as good. Then let's say then fled, then fled. Got trapped within a magic axe, then fled into Suzale. Sure, it sounds jailbreaky, but he's breaking out of a magic axe. That's as jailbreaky as they come, human. Yeah, somebody summoned him out of it, and then he just took off. <laughs> it's like I'm free. See ya. Oh, really? Is that how it worked? It was like a genie kind of thing, and he was just like, "I'm out of here." Uh, it's in it's in the book Elminster Must Die, which I haven't read. Um, that's a funny name for a book. That's what Ed Greenwood called it. It's uh, yeah, the first official four E book with Elminster in it, and it's the one where, like, immediately following uh, Mistra's murder, and you know, the repercussions of that. That book's only from 2010. That's not even one of the old ones, really. Huh. Is it an official book? Yep. It's the first of the Sage of Shadowdale trilogy. Anyways. Just need two more lines. Oh. Life is not boring. That is for sure. We can actually go back into it with, with escaped because we can just change within to in. <laughs> I trapped in a magic axe and then escaped into Suzale. Yeah. Not trapped in a magic axe. Got trapped in a magic axe and then escaped into... I mean, it's a little... Uh, is this easier? Got trapped within uh, a magic axe and then fled to the... Travel with the black staff and the sage of... Sh 
and the sage of Shadowdale. A trap within a magic axe that fell into Sedale. A trap in some, uh, got trapped in a magic axe, got trapped in a magic axe, and then, I don't know. Yeah, yeah it doesn't flow quite as nicely. Okay. Like, a little, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So let's keep it like that. All right. A magic axe and fled into Sedale. What if we said something like, of all the money lenders, you could... He, oh, he traded words with arch wizards. Where'd that one come from? Um, Your brain? Well, it sounded good. Traded words with arch wizards. Traded words uh, with arch wizards. Um, but I was also reading just about some of the stuff he did afterwards where he um, apparently used to meet Manchun on a regular basis for drinks and passive passive aggressive conversation um, but also uh, worked with Elminster and posed as a waiter and a cook for Elminster and a bunch of other arch wizards when they were trapped in a spell storm which is interesting um, but yeah he traded words with arch wizards Traded words with art wizards. And supported many schemes. Garhar's like, yeah, but no one would know about that stuff. Only deep Elminster. Lore. Yeah. Deep lore. Yeah. Going deep, but digging deep. He's traded words with arch wizards and thwarted many schemes. I kind of want to end this line with he's more than he seems. Oh, yeah, that works. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, like, in terms of, I guess, like, we're crossing the, the fourth wall here a lot, right? Like, sure. Uh, this is a Our Body uh, a Tavern song. This isn't a song that would necessarily get sung about in one of these things, because there's no way that he told anybody he was stuck in an axe. <laughs> you know? I mean, maybe. Yeah, he got drunk once with Durnan, and Durnan will never let him, let him live it down. Immediately brought his bard friend over and was like, yo. Get this. Which, you know, if it's your friend, you would do that. <laughs> yeah, you might. Yeah, this is embarrassing for you. So let's tell that story to everybody. <laughs> uh, or maybe I'm a bad friend. Maybe that's, maybe that's the real problem. Um, I feel like this is so close. So close. It is. We're very close. We're one line away from... From assessing what we do next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's much more than you. I would have to sing accomplished in a rhythmically weird way, which would sound strange. With everything he's accomplished, he's much more than he seems. With everything he's done, my friend, he's much more than he seems. Do that way. He's traded words with arch wizards. God, that, that's the tongue twister of the day, my friend. He's traded words with arch wizards and thwarted many schemes. With everything he's done, my friend, it's much more than he seems. I like it. What do you think? I like it now. 
I like that traded words with arch wizards, but yeah, I'll concede that's no, I'll tough. Like, I'll, get, I'll get it. <laughs> and thwarted many schemes, like <laughs> yeah, it's one of those he sells seashells things. Yeah, he sells seashells by the seashore. Yeah, she sells traded words with arch wizards and thwarted many schemes. <laughs> she sells seashells by the seashore. Yeah. What's this? Okay. 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 All righty. my friend he's much more than he seems he's the money lender Mert. <laughs> uh, yeah part of my brain thinks you're supposed to say he's the money lender Mert at the end of every line um but uh that would be annoying <laughs> probably i think it, i think it would it would interrupt the flow you know um let's try it Ready? Once upon a time there was a man who wore a smith. He stormed the north, he sallied forth and acted like a jerk. Tired of the battles and his work is sought for hire. He left for water deep and then decided to retire. He's the money lender. Turned his chase for power to the kind who wheeled in town. Now his name is known and feared by everyone around. He went and joined the Harpers and he opened up a bank. Lending treasure near and far to those whose fortune sank. Hitch your wagon, raise a bug and tell a boy tale. But a man so solicited, he would drink up all your ale. But then one day he changed his ways and opened up his purse. I can think of many ways it could be worse. Now he's the money lender, Merton. Wallace and the Wanderer were tired of getting old. They went to Under Mountain and came out with lots of gold. When they both emerged, they had a lot of work to do. They built the yawning portal and another mansion too. They traveled with the Black Staff and the Sage of Shadowdale. Now trapped within a magic act that fled into Suzanne. He's traded words with arch wizards and thwarted many schemes. With everything he's done, my friend, he's much more than he seems. Hitch your leg and raise a flag and tell him all he tells. But a man's a I don't know if you can tell, but I'm out of breath. I uh, I was listening to it. I'm like, when does he breathe during this song? <laughs> we no breathing. We put no breathing in there. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think it's good. I mean, does the one, does the he's the, 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 the money lender Mert line give you a moment to breathe in between paragraphs? Because doesn't it, it also puts a break into the song there, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it goes in. All right, all right, you you guys got me. I'll, I will do that after every line, and then it might make more sense, and that could be the song. Because I mean, some these songs don't all. Especially since we're making more of like a traditional-ish bar song that could have as they could have as many or little verses as needed, you know. Oh, that's my coffee paste. That might be it, actually. <laughs> yeah, because then it could be a little break. It could be like a little. 
I can, I, can, I can picture you on stage at the awning portal doing this, and at the end of every verse, the crowd says he's the money lender, Mert, instead of you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me catch my breath for a second. No worries, yeah. <laughs> Do this quiet. Wait, I should tell I should tell Chris to pop in to listen. All right, he's our official, unofficial. I mean, he it felt like he was a pretty official Mert. Like it was Chris Lindsay playing Mert. <laughs> Yeah, you know, he even he even had the the facial hair and everything. Like, it was great. Yeah, he was very committed to the 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 costume at the stream of many eyes. I remember. All right. Repetition of that line really works. Listening to it, because um, uh, it's the it's the time that everybody raises their pint and takes a swig. <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> it's still even with those little breaks. It is uh, quite, quite the. Uh, I mean, you can do, you, you can you can change the tempo, right? Like, I mean, I guess it, it needs to be that tempo. It needs to be like yeah. a, a bard, you know. Yeah. Bard's 
Oh. So that's the part where the audience singing "He's the Money Lender" Mert and clonking their yeah, and their, their tankards yeah. together yeah. is like they do it, and you're like, yeah, <sighs> in between lines. <laughs> um, but no, that's good. That's work. That works. I like it. Hey, hey Adriel, so. <laughs> that was cool. Um, you know, I, I, there's a moment there where I'm like, are we going to finish this on time? Are we going to finish this early? Like, how are we doing? And we finished early, uh, which is always a cool position to be in. Um, yeah. Because it gives us an opportunity to think a little bit about some of the other songs we've done. Um, I know. You know. We've done a lot of songs. This, this yeah. is song number 18, I believe. 18 songs. Yeah, yeah. I can't even believe it. Yeah, we've got, got everything from from rock music to southern rock music to grunge rock music to alternative rock music to <laughs> mm-hmm. um but uh, uh as i was saying earlier i was going through some of this stuff while i was um getting some work done to this morning and uh one of the ones that stuck out to me more than i expected was uh, uh the song for deacon scale singer you know which one did what did we call that one um it was a southern rock song the one with like with the chorus like who's going to sing his song after he dies who's going to mm-hmm. carry deacon home and cry who's going to send this minstrel off into his place up to, in the sky who's going to light the pyre and say goodbye that one um yeah. that one was really really good um yeah bards know every story but their own that one mm-hmm. yeah that was the one i was thinking about yeah and it's funny because that one uh The wordy final part, the not too many kobolds went to hell and back and told you the tale. Yeah. That one. I think I got it. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't rehearsed that one in a while, but um, let's do it. All right. F yeah. All right. Mute. <laughs> Just simple man. Come and listen to a tale. By the cobalt whose life was doomed to fade Fighting to survive Every day he's alive Singing in epic songs till death arrives The world is mean and hard Chicken's just a bar Cobalt has a place to the car Just a 
simple sidekick But this vibe still has a few tricks Hopefully Tiki won't die that queer Got so far left to go So many stories out to know Epic songs to write about daily foes Bards can't share their stories all alone Yep, I think that went a lot. A little different than what you remembered, but no, but it's still good, and it's the spirit of it that's important. But it's uh, I like that chorus a lot. I think, I mean, it's no pun intended, but like I think we really struck a chord with that one in terms of the character that we're trying to yeah. honor, and uh, you know, I don't know. I just I really like the way that one turned out. Me too. This is good. <laughs> uh, the key of rock. I love that one. That was the uh, like the tenacious D slash ACDC yeah, style one. Rock, which was... I need to review that one. That um, one was good. Yeah. Um, Penelope's, of course, is great. Brimstone Angels. We haven't done that one in a while. Always a fan of the Brimstone Angels one. Yeah. Should we do that one? Yeah. Yeah. It's been a little bit. Let's do it. Oh, no. Who wants to hear Brimstone Angels, everybody? Yeah. yeah. It was also, I think one of the things that really strikes me about that one in particular is that um, we were lucky enough to have Aaron on the show with us to help write it. So, I mean, she wrote the only books that the characters are in. <laughs> um, and so she knows everything about them. And it made it really, really fun to write a song about those characters because she can reference anything about them including you know her head y stuff that she might not have put in books and it's just i don't know it's, it seemed like one of the more rewarding experiences of working with somebody to it help really bring their was. character it's great seeing her reaction oh my god yeah 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 do you uh. want to stop me cassius 335 <laughs> <laughs> i mean you could stop me if you wanted yeah Stop me by just turning off your computer. <laughs> That'll show me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I am ready when you are, which is to say I can mute myself at any point. <laughs> okay. Start muting. Here we go. Brimstone Angels. Met the devil. It was a cold and stormy day. I was slightly disheveled, but I felt a spark there anyway. He 
taught me Eldritch Blast And I was sure this love would last They all told me no But he's the devil that I know Yeah, that one's good. CD slash MP3s released when? People buy CDs still? Oh, man. Eight tracks. We're only doing eight tracks. I, I would love to put out an eight track for the, like, five people who still have working eight tracks in their vehicles. <laughs> Coming to Napster in 2021. Oh, man, Napster. I haven't heard that name in a while. Posting to Friendster. 2021. <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I mean we'll, we'll we'll pick some ones. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, uh, if and when we start doing something like that, turning these into uh, songs uh, that are uh, studio produced, that we would probably want some feedback. Like which which ones are people's favorites? Like um, feel free. Like I'm not going to set up a poll right now because I have another poll that I'm going to hit the button on in a second, but. Um, if you have a favorite song that we've done or a favorite couple songs, uh, just type it in chat. Just let us know. Um, I'm, you know, uh, luckily uh, Twitch keeps uh, the chat that goes with the, the VOD so I can always go through it and see what everybody was talking yeah. about. But um, And in the meantime, so we have the uh, second to last episode of the year coming up next week. Is it next week already? Yeah, God, yeah, it is. Yeah, because uh, the Codename office is closed the week of the 21st of December and the 28th uh, so for those two weeks. So, yeah, next next Tuesday's episode will be the second to last one. Um, we have been neglecting uh, a very important section of characters from our game for songs. And uh, we just happen to have five of these. So, of the five patron... of uh, the, the five deities for whom we work <laughs> in the game because each campaign has a deity the the regular sword coast campaign is torm tomb of annihilation was kelimvor dragon heist was helm descent into avernus is tiamat and the uh, uh rise of the frostman one is unsurprisingly oral hey, you're not um, wearing your you're not wearing your avernus shirt again are you because i no i'm wearing my idol champion shirt today okay yeah oh yeah. you guys have shirts 
Yeah, you want one? Hell yeah, I want one. All right, I'll get you one. Um, anyways, <laughs> so which which deity uh, should we do a song for starting now? Um, but anyways, I'm just looking at uh, what people are saying. Bruner and Shandy. Uh, Spurt, would... Warden, and Strahd. I know. We got so many, but you know what? I'm feeling... I, I want to go out on a high note. Let's do the Penelope song again. It's so so fun. That's Yeah, that's a great one to wrap it up with. Uh, the voting is live for another couple minutes. Um, and uh, yeah, I will quieten myself so we can listen to something chipper. Screen for me. A lot of people have commented on this one for sure. No, I'm not going into darkness. I'm coming out of the darkness for this. Coming out of the dark. Uh, this is the Pen what's Penelope's last name again? Sorry, I already muted myself. A uh, half pint. Right, Penelope yeah. half pint theme song. Here we go. Yeah. Won't you be my friend? One bit on a fair. I got a hand to lend. We'll be smiling through the air. They call me a half pint sprout, but I want you to know. Yeah, that one was fun, and Hope was a lot of fun for that too. Yeah, yeah, that was that was cool. Um, that yeah, and that also brings us to the end of the show. Um, thank everybody, uh, thank you for for joining us today, for participating, for helping us write the lyrics. We got some really killer verses um, from the chat that really you know made writing a song about mirth, where we do our best to uh, make Jason run out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> it, it turned out it turned out but it, it turned out really cool and it was fun and i i appreciate you guys for for joining us to do it um and also of course huge thanks to jason for taking time and 
singing verses and writing music on the fly and all this st- all this stuff hey it keeps my skills sharp so anytime yeah um is there anything you'd like to shout out before we wrap things up um just that my dog's trying to get in the room uh, <laughs> she knows how to open doors um yeah i've got a new single out does, does uh jay still have the uh link from last week um i don't know if jay still has the link from last week um but i've got a new single out uh called better late than never and a, uh, yeah pretty close to keep my album from the wreckage part one which comes out in february but i wanted to at least uh release a song from it before the holiday and before the new year so, uh, I think I have the YouTube link. Oh, okay. Even better. Come here. So I'm going to share that. Alrighty. Better late than never. Boom. Um, yeah. Check it out. Listen. Thumbs up, all that stuff. Um, yeah, uh, thanks everybody for uh, tuning in today. Uh, tomorrow we have Evergreen Champions uh, in the in the morning with Margaret and Satine Phoenix. Uh, should be a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, take care, everybody. You guys are awesome. Dogs are great. Mm-hmm. Oh, puppy! Look at that puppy. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next week. Cheers. <laughs>